Hey everybody, I'm Amanda, and behind the camera is Mike, and we are... The Hives Do Disney. Disney. Welcome back to the channel. We are going to make some more food today and I'm really excited for this one. I randomly saw this video on TikTok and I said, hey, we're gonna make it, we're gonna put it on the channel and hopefully it comes out good and it reminds me of home. So today we are going to make the gray stuff, which is famously known from Be Our Guest Restaurant from Magic Kingdom, AKA from the song Be Our Guest in Beauty and the Beast. So the ingredients that you are going to need today are one packet of vanilla instant pudding, one and a half cups of milk, 15 Oreos, Cool Whip, and two tablespoons of chocolate pudding mix. Okay, so to start our recipe, we are going to make vanilla pudding with one and a half cups of milk. Um, I am lactose free, and we typically use lactose free milk. But for this recipe, we're using whole milk because I don't like how pudding tastes with lactose free milk. I'd rather feel sick. Vanilla pudding, in you go. Mix it up. Now that you've mixed your pudding together, you're just going to eat it all, and that's the end of the video. Goodbye! All right, see you later. Nice yeah. Now that you're done making your vanilla pudding, you are going to put that into the fridge for 10-ish minutes to let it firm up, get cool, get pudding -y. While your pudding is setting, you are going to take your 15 Oreos, mine's actually like 14 and two halves, and you are going to blend them up in like an immersion blender or a whatever this is called. Um, what do you call it? Uh, I don't know. A ninja? Ah. It's my ninja blender. Or like a regular blender. Basically, you're just, you just want to make food it processors. Food processors. Food processor. Whatever you want to do. Uh, the recipe says to take the filling out. I originally wasn't going to, but then Mike got double stuffed, and so now we're going to take all the filling out. You need me to do this? No. This should be a recipe that I should be able to do. This isn't anyone can cook recipe. Now that we have defrosted all of our Oreos here, we're gonna go pulse them up into nice fine little pieces. So now we have our nice Oreo mix here, but while we're waiting for that other pudding, it's gonna kind of open up kind of cool up here. We have kept it out of the freezer since we got it at the store, so it'll be nice and easy to mix up. Mix up, mix up. So now that we have our pudding out of the fridge, we are going to mix in our Oreo crumbles into our vanilla pudding. This part you're gonna wanna do really well. It's kinda like when you rub dirt into a wound. Oh, it is like rubbing dirt into something all right. Looks gray. It definitely looks like some gray stuff. I'm not sure if it'll be delicious, but the last mm. dishes later. Did you know that they can sing? And mm. they can dance. Wow. But this is not France. Next, you are going to add in your cool whip. and your two tablespoons of chocolate pudding. I don't know what that does, but it does something. So my question for everyone is while she's mixing is, whose grandparents Everybody. watching saves the Cool Whip containers and puts stuff in it? Like or, random storage, instead of getting Tupperware, they use the Cool Whip containers because if you like- butter. Uh, I'm, we're going Cool Whip right now because we're with Cool Whip. Feels like my grandparents always did it. You get into the fridge and there'd be two or three Cool, cool Whip containers and you're looking for some Cool Whip for your uh, your pie at Thanksgiving. You'd open it up and it'd be spaghetti sauce. So, please comment below. 
I'd love to know what the amount of people who have grandparents who still save their Tupperware or the Cool Whip containers. It's better. My arm hurts. So now that we have completely mixed up our Cool Whip and all of our ingredients, we now are going to serve. You can either just put it into a bowl and eat it, you know, be classy like that, or you can get fancy and you can put it in a piping bag with star tip and swirl it. And if Mike gives me the okay that we have a piping bag and a star tip, I don't know where a star tip went. We didn't even know where a star tip went. We just used it last week. Oh, those ones? I don't know where those are. Those are designed to attach to something. In any case, we're gonna make it. We're gonna go semi classy. We have piping bags. And we're gonna just. No, but we don't have a tip, so we're gonna, we're just gonna use it. I'll show you what we're gonna do. I'm gonna do the trick. Take a piping bag, fold it over, put it inside a cup. Shout out to Kona Ice. Shout out to Kona Ice. And just kind of pull it over the top here. And there, now you can just fill it without having to try to hold it in your hands. Where was that tip last week? Oh, well, we're getting chefy over here. Oh, he's going to drizzle it with some Oreos. Not the traditional gray stuff way, because that would have pearls on it, but... I tried to find them at the store, to be honest with you. Did you? That's really sweet. But they had, all they had was um, rose gold ones, so I just couldn't grab... What? That would make it even more basic and perfect. Here you go, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> looks, like, looks like feta cheese on top. I was looking at this one for It's been a long time since we've had the gray stuff, so I don't remember what the gray stuff tastes like. It's like that. But it this tastes really good, so I don't really care. I think the pearls help, which is weird, but... It adds a new texture. Yeah, it just has a crunchy texture, so try to put the cookies on there. 10 out of 10 would recommend. Yes, I would actually, absolutely would recommend. So thank you guys so much. Oh. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more from us, we have a couple of other cooking videos, a bunch of other Disney videos, and we would love for you to like this video and to subscribe to our channel. We yeah, are uh, almost at 150 subscribers, which makes me really excited. Yeah, and if you have any other suggestions of things we should make Disney-related food, definitely put a, um, yeah. a comment down below and uh, let us know what either something you've tried or something you'd like to see, because we'll definitely have no problems attempting it, uh, whether it's a failure or success. Um, it's a different story, but... It's up to if I make it or if he makes yeah. it. <laughs> but we'll definitely, uh, just in these times, we'll try to find the ingredients to make it, and uh, we'll put that together, because it's a lot of fun for us. Uh, we enjoy making stuff in the kitchen. Um, and being together. And being together, so thank you guys so much for watching. And happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. Mm -hmm. Alright guys, we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.